Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this home page using Figma. And in the previous video, I showed you how to design the components needed for our design. So these are the two components. We have the heading component and also the blog post card component. And both these components are responsive. So if I go over here to assets and uh, here we have just one component. I think we forgot to create this as a component. So let's select this and let's click on create component and I'll just change the name to blog post card. Right now let's go back to the assets and uh, let's drag this component over here. And here we have this component. Now you can go ahead and increase or decrease the width. So if I just increase the width, we can see that it is completely responsive. You can go ahead and change the image, the tag and the heading. Now in this video, we will start with the desktop version of our website. So let's get started. The first thing we will do is create a frame. So let's click on frame and let's click over here and I'll just select frame and let's select the size as iMac. Right here is our frame. I'll just rename this to desktop. Now the first thing we need to do is add a background image. So for that let's create a rectangle and let's fill it across the screen. And let's add an image over here. Now if you already have an image you can go over here to fill and select image and just add the image over here. But for this project I will add an image from a plugin called Unsplash. So let's right click over here and uh, go to plugins. And I'll just go over here to installed plugins and click on unsplash. And if you don't have this plugin installed, you can go over here to find more plugins. And here you can search for unsplash and just click on run. And here I'll just search for music production. And let's scroll down. And here's the image that we need. So let's click on the image. And here we can see that the image has been added as a background. Now the next thing we will do is create the menu bar. So for that let's create a rectangle and uh, let's set the height to 80 pixels and let's set the width to 1024 pixels and let's bring it to the center. So you can just click on this button called align horizontal centers and from the top I'll just add a gap of 24 pixels. If you press option or alt you can see the spacing between the elements. And now let's add a border radius to the bottom left and bottom right. So let's click on this rectangle. And here if you add a border radius, it will be added to all the sides. So if I just type 10, we can see that the border radius is added to all the sides. We just add it to the bottom left and bottom right. So let's click on this button called independent corners. And let's make the first and the second values 0. Right now we have border radius for bottom left and bottom right. Right now let's select this and uh, let's change the color. So let's select the color black and we'll set the opacity to 50%. And let's also add a background blur. So let's click on this uh, effects and let's select background blur from here. And I'll just change the value to let's try 40. And I think that looks all right. Now let's go ahead and create the logo. So let's create a text. And the logo is called sound design and let's change the font to enter and i'll just change the font weight to extra bold and let's select the size to 16 pixels and for design we need to have a different color so let's select design and let's select the red color so i'll just select this color right here we will have a gap of 32 pixels from the left so let's bring it over here to the left. You can press shift and arrow keys to move it 10 pixels. So I'll just bring it to 32 pixels from the left. And I'll just bring it to the center of this rectangle. So let's select the rectangle and then this text. And uh, here let's select this option called align vertical centers. Right now let's create the menu items. Let's duplicate this text. So I'll just press option or if you're using windows you can just press alt and drag this over here. And the first menu item we need to have is about. Let's change the color to white. And uh, let's duplicate this. 
and uh, we will have a gap of 50 pixels and let's change this to course details and let's duplicate this and uh, for this one let's type blog and let's duplicate this once more and this will be called testimonials right now let's select all of these and uh, let's bring it to the right and we will leave a gap of 32 pixels right now let's make this a group so you can just right click over here and select group selection or you can just press command or control G and let's just name this menu items and uh, let's select the logo the menu items and also this background rectangle and let's create a group and let's name this menu bar all right that's it with the menu bar now let's go ahead and design this element over here so here we have this text and this button so let's go back and let's create a rectangle and let's bring it over here to align with this uh, menu bar and we have a padding of 128 pixels on the right let's increase the height and we will have a corner radius at the top left and top right so let's select independent corners let's give it a corner radius of 20 pixels right now let's select this and let's give it a background color of black and let's also set the opacity to 50 and let's add a background blur so let's click on effects and let's select background blur and let's increase the value let's try 40 I think we can increase it a little bit more so I think 50 looks all right and we'll also add a border so let's click on plus over here in stroke and uh, let's select the color of the border to white and let's increase the border weight I think 4 pixels looks all right and we don't want to have this border at the bottom so let's click on this button called strokes per side and here I'll just select custom and uh, for the bottom I'll just set it to 0 right now let's add the text so let's click on text and uh, let's click over here I just type sound design masterclass and from the left we will have a gap of let's try 40 pixels and uh, after that we need to have an underline so let's select this rectangle and uh, let's give it a height of 4 pixels and uh, let's bring it over here to the left and uh, let's decrease the width I'll just set it to 60 and let's change the color to red so I'll just select this color right here now we need to add this text right here called learn the art of sound design so let's copy this text over here and uh, let's type learn the art of sound design and for this we will set the font to Allegria and we'll set the font size to let's try 60 pixels and uh, we'll set the font weight to bold I think we can decrease the font size a little bit so let's try 40 pixels and let's decrease the width and uh, from the right we will have a gap of 40 pixels so you can just press command and shift and press the right arrow to increase the width 10 pixels right now the last thing we need to do is add this button so let's select a text and uh, let's type demo lesson and uh, let's decrease the font size and let's set it to 16 pixels let's change the font to enter right now let's add an auto layout so let's press shift a and uh, let's set the background color so let's click on fill and let's set the color to red let's also add a border radius so let's try 10 pixels and let's increase the left and the right padding so here in the horizontal padding let's type 32 and I think that's it with the element so let's bring all of these elements to the bottom and let's decrease the height a little bit and that's basically it with this element now let's select this and let's make it a group and here we can see that this rectangle is also being selected so you can just press shift and click on this rectangle now let's make this a group so I just press command G 
and here let's type hero text all right that's basically it with the header so let's select all of these and uh, let's group it and here just type header right that's basically it with the header of our design so that's it for this video in the next video we will design the rest of the sections so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day